best, best, and most important compliment that I ever received. But to do this, you have to understand me. And more importantly, you have to understand how I grew up with a baby face. Yeah. So I, I gotta be fair, there, there are some actually really good things about having a baby face. For one, people's preconceptions of you are very positive. I'm supposed to be this nice, sweet, innocent kid, and that gets me out of so much trouble. You wouldn't believe it. I don't understand it, because statistically, I am no less likely to stab you than anyone else. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. There's some other stuff, too, like old people really like me for some reason. I, I think I've got like a universal grandson complexion. You know? <laughs> or I remember back in eighth grade, there's actually a whole hug Tanner day set up by some girls who thought I was cute. Cute is not a good thing when you have a baby face or something. But when you're an eighth grade boy and girls are literally planning to hug you up, you put those things behind you. I have to say, the one thing that still irritates me about having a baby face is that people aren't afraid to point it out. It surprises me, because we live in a society where you don't really touch physical characteristics. People's height, their weight, how old they look. And yet, when it comes to looking young, people swim. And this doesn't hurt, but it just irritates me because I can't fight back. You know, 40-year-old Susan can walk up to me in Target with the two miserable kids in tow and say, wow, Tanner, how do you work here? You look like you're 12. And I can't say back, wow, Susan, how do you get here? You look like you can't fit in a driver's seat. Like, I'm the bad guy in that situation, you know? I, I will be honest, though. There, there was a time when comments like that hurt. And I hurt a lot. I was pretty insecure about this stuff growing up. I, I actually remember my tipping point. It was in seventh grade, I got turned down by a girl for the first time. And I was convinced it was because of my appearance. To be honest, it, it totally was. This girl's like four inches taller than me. I don't know what I was thinking, but seventh grade Tanner, shooting shot, I'm proud of After this event happened, though, I, I came out of it not sad, but angry for the first time. I was determined to do something. I set out to improve myself, purely to improve myself. And I went about it in some stupid ways at first. I went to the internet, never a good idea, and I looked up like how to get tall or how to look older, stuff like that. I cannot tell you how much of my life I spent hanging upside down from multi bars because I thought that would like, I don't know, stretch me out or something. I didn't sleep with a pillow for like four years of my life to get proper spine alignment and growth like Yeah. <laughs> but after I did the stupid stuff, I, I kind of started doing things that actually made a difference. I started wearing nicer clothes, things that fit me correctly. I adjusted my posture, I began speaking more maturely, and I, I started working out. And all these things added up to give me real, tangible confidence for the first time in my life. I think the final test came in the form of another girl. My friend was trying to set me up with this really pretty girl from my mother's school. I'm ready to talk to her, I walk up, and before I can say anything, she looks at me and says, Wow, you look like a fetus. A fetus? <laughs> Holy shit! That is so mean! I cannot believe that younger me would have pissed himself right there and laid in the puddle crying. But the new me got his flirt on, slipped his hair back, and dated that girl for four months after she made that comment. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I am a little proud. Here's the thing, though. Even when you're high on confidence, doing everything right in life, there's still life itself that happens, then life will run a train on you. And that, that's what happened earlier that year to me. I, I kind of fell into a, a bit of a dark spot. Things were really busy between school and extracurriculars and all this stuff going on, and, and I didn't have time for myself or my family or my friends, and I, I hated it. And it's during these moments that your insecurities really come back to life. This is where the compliment comes in. I was also working my first job at this time, and my first job, I mean, I was bringing in carts at Target, so. But it was on this night that, that I, I got this compliment. It was a cold November night. I was working outside in a sleet storm. The snow wasn't bad enough for me, I guess. So I, I'm, I'm bringing in a big row of carts and it's absolutely hating every second of it. I'm miserable. And to top things off, my security manager comes over to me and says, hey, hey, Ted, got a question for you. To give you some context, this guy's job is to intimidate people from stealing from Target. So this guy is scary, ginormous, I've never talked to him in my life. He continues, he says, Tanner, are you in high school or are you in college? And I'm astounded, because nobody's ever asked me that before. I'm asked that all the time now, but not then. And he continues, he says, Tanner, 
I've seen the way that you work around here. I've seen the way that you treat people with respect. I've seen the way that you hold yourself with maturity. I've seen the way that you care about your job. You don't see young people doing any of those things anymore. I promise you, if you keep this up, you will go far. I don't know if any of you have ever heard exactly what you needed to hear. I believe it's a once in a lifetime phenomenon, but this was it for me. I went home that night and I broke down, I cried. <coughs> Just to have one person, a total stranger, recognize the work that I put into myself, the time and the effort and everything that I did to be perceived the way I wanted to be perceived, it meant the world. From that point on, I, I realized I'm not upset that I looked a different way when I was a kid because I learned to make myself different out of that. I learned to change who I was, and I truly believe that anyone can do that. You always have this option. If you put in the time and you put in the work, you can be a you 